If you guys want any cheap MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, make sure you go over to G2A.com and use discount code B87 to get 3% off your total order. Hi guys and welcome to another video by myself, Bateson87. It's been one week of price ranges and not only has that messed up the game but it's also created a knock-on effect for other parts of the game as well which i'm going to be discussing in this video it's going to be a bit of an example and show you what foot has turned into now not only the reappearance of extinct players uh, which you'll see near the end of the video but i recommend watching it guys and agree with me if you do think that this is the way ultimate team is now also if we can try and hit over 5,000 likes guys that'll be subscribed so share it with your friends and uh, yeah also subscribe so let's get into the video where you're gonna see a snippet of an old pack i did get a few months ago oh we got one we fucking got one yes 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 our first ever team of the year guys and i am so excited i am so excited david louise the lowest rated but that is absolutely insane i cannot believe it cannot believe it oh i am so happy i am so happy it's the team of the year guys and i fucking got one. Oh, <laughs> this is nuts this is nuts i am so oh thank fuck i am opening packs but wait i can't actually sell that player the reason I cannot sell that player is because of fucking price ranges. So, with that said, let's go and have a little bit of a more of a discussion about the fact that you can pack these awesome players with MSP, with FIFA coins. You can even make some money on these awesome players, but then you're about to get shafted when the player you've just packed you don't want and you want to buy other players. So after seeing that first part of the video guys, this is exactly what has happened on Ultimate Team now. You see a team of the year, Ronaldo, which is one of the rarest cards you will ever see in the game. Usually only see one, I'm surprised he's not being instantly bought. And there's one reason why he's not being instantly bought. And this is because if you press compare price, there is a page of them. Now, there has been a lot of uh, rumours on Twitter and everything else about EA putting players onto the market... Um, to give us our extinct players back. So basically, we can go and pack them. We are then fighting against EA to sell the fucking players. Everything they seem to do, and it's obvious. Like, look at how many ma Team of the Year Ronaldo's there is on the market. There is no chance that they are, um, they are not... Well, a few of them anyway, are not EA. That is ridiculous of seeing how many cards there actually is. So at the start of the video, you would have seen a pack obviously being opened. And then you would have seen the thought which goes through everybody's mind. Which is the fact that you cannot sell these players. And now, we do see these players on the market. So if you want to buy them, that's fair enough. You can go and purchase them. But there's one more part to this and I will show you now. So then we go and look at my transfer list. This is the Inform Coutinho you may have seen earlier on last week, I think, where we did a pack opening and actually were lucky enough to pack him. With the price ranges implemented, I was excited at the fact I packed him, but then in the back of my mind, I knew I was going to be unable to sell this motherfucker. And it's exactly... That's exactly what's happened. It's been a few days now. I've been listing him up every hour of the day trying to get rid of him. Even at his, even at his lowest bin of 226, I think it is his lowest bin. And will not sell. the. And that is with all sort of seven contracts. Um, just a basic standard card. No stats on him as you can see there. So we got him on the 11th. It's four days later. Still cannot see him. Now a lot of people will be like, Bateson, but fucking hell. You've packed an awesome player. Put him in your team. That isn't how Ultimate Team works. A lot of people maybe will put him into the team. But there's a lot of people who are like, yes, I've got Coutinho, worth a little bit. I can go and sell him. I can then buy like six decent players to add into my Ultimate Team. But with the price ranges, this has become absolutely, uh, absolutely impossible now. Well, it has with some players. The likes of Coutinho is just an example. Now, if I was going to implement something else, like I, I can't show you. Let's say, let's do it with Louise. So Louise, if we go to list him up, his price range is between nine and 18,000 coins. Now, I've been listening, I haven't actually listened him up, but if I've been listing a player like this up on the transfer market and he's not been selling for a maximum of, say, six times, EA should give you the option to do this, which is... Um 
which is pressing the X button and quick selling. Now you see the quick sell button there guys, you get 656 coins even though you've got a player who is worth 9,000 coins according to EA's price ranges. With this I should expect EA to change the discard price so you are able yourself to redeem the coins that that player is worth on EA's side and get it in because this transfer market is an absolute shambles now. Seeing what EA have done with obviously adding the extinct players onto the market is absolutely ridiculous in my eyes as now not only are you looking to, uh, to to get rid of your players but EA are then going obviously uh, adding them players on to fight against you guys so it's becoming a little bit of a weird war but what ways would you think about trying to uh, sort out these price ranges as you said guys uh, I've given plenty of options this is probably going to be my only video on it as well because it's just some things I've been noticing over the past weekend as Friday I think it was the day where I actually decided to play the game properly I was really pissed off and it was down to the Republic of Ireland green players where I was trying to build a team and couldn't because it was so rare and so extinct and I had to spend so much time there just trying to bin one of the rare Irish players. So guys, drop a like rating on this video, subscribe if you're not, share with your friends let me know what you think of the discard the, discard the minimum value on the likes of Philippe Louise and even this Coutinho because I know for sure that he is not going to be selling in 54 minutes time. So like I said guys, drop a like rating, subscribe if you're not and I'll be back later on with another video for you guys to enjoy.